Hi everybody, welcome back to the Weather Forecast Center. This is John, here to give you the latest updated information on today's weather and the weather going on for the next seven days. Um, right now we have a departing um, batch of showers and thunderstorms here that's in um, New Brunswick, Canada, heading off to the northeast. We have showers and thunderstorms here along the Carolina coast. Um, we have also showers and thunderstorms this morning. Training over the same spots as yesterday. Well, let's try this again. Training over the same spots as yesterday, so risk of flash flooding will be there. As this actually moves up more like this. Um, there are some flash flood alerts out as we speak. Um, we have some showers, some rumbles of thunder here in the UP of Michigan, down into down cross down cross Lake Michigan, and into southern Wisconsin. So we have a dying complex of storms that's heading south and east into Iowa from Minnesota. With that dying line of um, showers and thunderstorms, there have been some hail reports with that. And so far this morning, the West Coast is dry. May not be for all day, but for right now it is dry. So, so the SBC outlook for today um, has a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms here in same spots yesterday, um, the mine North Carolina into southeastern Virginia over by Maryland Tidewater. Um, I don't think that there's a risk um, well, let's see um, is there a tornado risk? No tornado risk. A 5% chance of wind. And that's it. Basically, basically it's driven off of wind for today in that marginal risk. And we do have a marginal risk for tomorrow out for here in the from uh, northern Ohio through no northwestern Pennsylvania into much of um, New York State. So that's for tomorrow. What what is with the risk tomorrow? Probably just wind. Yeah, five percent chance of wind. Five percent chance of wind exceeding sixty miles an hour and. 5% chance of hail up to one inch in diameter for tomorrow. Um, day three. There is nothing for day three, so. Those are the severe weather outlooks as of right now. Um. Show you temps for for the next few days. We haven't done that. Okay. So we gotta move this up to eleven to we'll go here. 
So the highs today around the country, 70s and 80s prevalent. through much of the northeast, mid-Atlantic, with just a few 90s in Florida and in southern South Carolina and Georgia and Alabama, but primarily 70s and 80s will rule the roost from East Texas all the way up into Maine today. Um, here's your, here's your, uh, cooler push air here in the, uh, Midwest, um, 60s and 70s in the UP, 70s and 80s in, um, uh, lower Michigan, and then 70s and 80s from much of North Dakota down into the Ozarks and through the rest of the north, rest of the interior northeast. Uh, 70s and 80s here in the Rockies. And then Montana starts to heat up into South Dakota here with um, 90s and 100s, and it looks like possibly some one teens. Um, I will have to look at that when we do the evening re um, to do the evening uh, report to see if there was some one teens up there. Um, 90s, 90s, 100s, and 100 teens for the rest of the desert southwest. Your highs for tomorrow. Um, for the most part, 70s and 80s through this corridor here. And 70s and 80s down here. Basically, the eastern half of the United States would be in the 70s and 80s. A few 90s down here. In South Carolina, North Carolina, and Florida. Um, and the real and the real heat is out here. Um, 90s, 100s, 100 teens, maybe 120s down here along the valleys of California into the desert southwest and along the plains. is for Thursday. Um, the heat really returns here in the, in the plains with widespread 90s and 100s all the way down into Texas where spots up here might get into the one teens. Um, 90s and 100s along the val um, valleys of California, 100s to 100 teens in your usual suspects here in the desert southwest, a ring of 100s to possibly one teens here in Idaho, and the northwest here starts to cool down with 50s in, in, in some areas of upstate in, in, up in Washington State. Otherwise, 60s, 70s, and 80s through the rest of Wa uh, Washington State into Oregon. And everybody east of the Mississippi will enjoy 70s and 80s. This 
to look at Friday. Nice 100s widespread in the plains. Um, anybody east of this area is 70s and 80s. 90s to find to just Florida. Um, a few 90s and a few 100s here in the Intermountain West and in the Desert Southwest. You know, your usual suspects in the one teens and then the valley floor of California. And the Northwest here will start to recover a little bit, but 70s and 80s most common. And then here in the Rockies, few splotches of 50s showing up, even maybe areas in the southern part of Colorado not making it to 50. And then again, anything west of the plains is 70s and 80s widespread. Uh, as we go to Saturday, mostly 80s, nor northeast mid Atlantic, some 90s are now showing up. In the mid south, um, and some 90s up here in northern Minnesota. Again, here in the plains, 90s and 100s, maybe a few one teens. And the west really starts to cool down, only a few 90s now in Idaho and in Utah where Desert Southwest will still stay 100s, 100 teens, and the valley floor starts to cool down in California where 90s and maybe perhaps a few 100s will linger. And Montana will start to cool down where 90s on the east, in east Montana, eastern Montana, where 70s and 80s and a few 50s and 60s on the southern, in southern um, highest peaks in Montana. And we have a severe thunderstorm warning. So we will go to that. Where's that for? It's for storms here in Alabama. So, right here in Alabama, I'm going to have to switch to a site. Let me get in here. So, this storm here is worn for Leave 60 mile an hour winds. 60 mile an hour winds and um, less than three quarter inch size hail. Here for Morgan and um, Lawrence County in Alabama. So if you are in Five Points, Kitchen Mill, Walton, Walltown, Basham, Sherwood Estates, Caddo, Simpson, and Moulton Heights, and Decatur. Um, beware that this storm is here and uh, make sure that you are in a safe place 
until this storm passes. Um, what else am I going to do? Well, for the most part, that is all I have for you as of this moment, it, this morning. Obviously, when it, when the evening edition comes out, there'll be more in-depth um, coverage of what has happened today as far as any severe weather, any um, damage, or any of the like. So for now, um, hope everyone has a great Tuesday, and I will talk to you again this evening.